good morning my dear students welcome to my class so we are going to start our gk syllabus for second unit examination all right so first of all let me tell you about the syllabus there is a slight change in the syllabus so for your second unit uh, examination unit 3 and unit 4 these two units are going to come all right from pages 28 to 41 okay so we are going to start with unit 3 language and literature all right first of all we are going to do antonyms so what is the meaning of antonyms you should uh, know this antonyms means opposite all right you have already done this in your english language isn't it so it is written in your language and literature all right find the antonym for each word in the word search below you can search in the word search is given here you can search there all right you can see here first number is last what is the antonym of last it will be first all right last first poor rich and start live die rise fall more less polite rude warm cool on off dim bright top bottom shallow deep plump slim large small all right so here these are all opposites you have to write down all the opposites all right okay so you have to learn and write all this opposites in your book in your gk book all right next one till 14 we have done let us come to 15 inside outside fast slow under over high low above below hit miss okay all these words you can search in the word search box here you see you can search there all right let us come to number b write the antonyms of this words peace war past future here also we are writing the opposite words all right peace war past future cheap expensive play work true false lively dull boastful humble begin end brave timid okay we have done exercise b also let us come to c unjumble the pairs of antonyms okay you see here unjumble the pairs of antonyms here you see some uh, jumble words are given okay we have to unjumble them all are jumbled y u b we have to frame a word we have to make a word with y u b so it will be by all right the opposite of by is sell you see here s e s l so we have to unjumble it by first one a is by b number is sell all right next one you see two a number c l a c n a l e that is clean when we unjumble that word it will be clean next one is y r d r t d i r t y dirty okay three number you see t f o n r okay what will be the correct spelling we have to unjumble it f r o n t front all right number b a c b k it will be back b a c k back okay four number a four a will be r t s i c t it will be strict s t r i c t strict b will be b number you see t l n i e n e we have to frame a word with this okay it will be lenient l e n i e n t lenient all right so we have to frame words here okay let me just tell you number 1 by sell 1 a number is by b number is sell 2 a number is clean b number is dirty 
थ्री ए नंबर इज फ्रंट फोर नंबर इज बैक फोर नंबर ए नंबर इज स्ट्रिक्ट बी नंबर इज लीनियंट सो वी हैव डन पेज नंबर दिस इज पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी एट ओके दिस इज पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन This is also language and literature unit three language and literature. These are synonyms. What is the meaning of synonyms? The meaning of synonyms is similar word. Okay, you have to write down one word which is similar to the word given here. All right. Find a synonym for each of these words. They are hidden in the word search box. Okay, we have to search. Here also you see word search box is given there. We have to search from there. Woman will be lady. Woman will be lady. Start will be begin. We are writing all the words with similar meaning. Please follow. These are synonyms. Synonyms means similar. All right. Woman number one. Woman will be lady. Number two. Start will be begin. Number three. Small will be little. Number four. Unhappy will be sad. Number five, angry will be mad. Number six, simple will be easy. Number seven, skinny will be thin. Number eight, present will be gift. Number nine, plump will be fat. Number ten, beautiful will be pretty. Number eleven, center will be middle. Number twelve, house will be home. Number thirteen, wealthy will be rich. Number fourteen, unwell will be ill. All right. Number fifteen, finish will be end. Sixteen, mend will be fix. Seventeen, large will be big. Eighteen, afraid will be scared. Nineteen, robber will be thief. Number twenty, girl will be laugh. Okay. Let me tell you once again, woman, lady, start, begin, small, little, unhappy, sad, angry, mad. Simple, easy, skinny, thin. Present, gift, plump, fat, beautiful, pretty. Center, middle, house, home, wealthy, rich, unwell, ill. Finish, end, mend, fix, large, big, afraid, scared, robber, thief, giggle, laugh. All right. Let us come to B number. Write a synonym for these words to complete the cross patch. You see here, you can write here. Arrow is given here. You can write here. Beautiful will be pretty. Simple will be easy. Third, thin will be skinny. Fourth, close will be near. Five number, it will be nearly means almost. Six will be ocean means sea. Once again, you please follow. Beautiful. Pretty, simple, easy, thin, skinny, close, near, nearly, almost, ocean, sea. Okay. Let us come to C number. Unjumble the synonyms of these words. Again, we have to unjumble here. Some words in the jumble form they are given. We have to unjumble. First one you see wonderful. So wonderful. so it is uh, jumbled up t r g a t what were, uh, which word do we can frame it will be great g r e a t great okay number 2 here here means t n i e l s what word we can form listen here means listen okay fortunate u c l k y So when we unjumble it, the word which we can make is lucky. All right, recall. Recall means remember, isn't it? B R M E R E M E. Recall means remember. Tidy. Tidy means neat. N E A T. Neat. T E A N is given here. Tiny meat. Neat. Tiny me uh, means neat. All right, you have to follow. Once again, I am saying number one, wonderful, great. Number two, here, listen. Number three, fortunate, lucky. Number four, four, recall, remember. Number five, tidy, neat. Okay. Please see. We are doing page number 
30 this is page number 30 okay homophones okay unit 3 language and literature these uh, are homophones we are going to do now please follow what is the meaning of homophones here you see there are two words given but the words are almost uh, same in pronunciation but their meaning differs their spelling differs and their meaning differs okay choose the correct homophone from each sentence below all right i like to write in my journal every day i like to write in my journal every day each day sorry i like to write in my journal each day okay number two she makes a wish and blew hard blew hard see almost the pron uh, pronunciation is same b l u e blue b l e w blue so you have to be very careful with the spelling number one let me repeat I like to write in my journal each day. She makes a wish and blew hard. B L E W. Okay, next one you see. My soccer team won the game today. My soccer team won the game today. Number four, there is only one more week left. So please see the spellings here, W, W, K, week. Once again, I'm telling from number one, okay? I like to write in my journal each day, W, R, I, T, E, write. Number two, she mix, makes a wish and blew heart, B, L, E, W, blew heart. My soccer team won the game today. One, W, O, N, one. Okay? There, number four, there is only one more week left, W, W, K, week. Okay, number five, I had large piece of pumpkin pie. I have large piece, P-I-E-C-E, -E, piece of pumpkin pie. Number six, let's weigh, W-E-I-G-H, weigh the marbles using this scale. Number seven, it rained all day Saturday and we were, we were very bored, B-O-R-E-D, bored. Number eight. Do you know if they are here yet? K-N-O-W, no. Do you know if they are here yet? Number nine, I will be eight years old in two days. E-I-G-H-T, eight. I will be eight years old in two days. E-I-G-H-T, eight. Number ten, the black bear grabbled a fish to it. Beer, B-E-A-R, beer. Number eleven, the grass this spring morning was covered with dew. D-E-W, dew. Dew, dew, the meaning of dew is early in the morning if we get up, we will see dew drops on the grass. Okay, that is the meaning dew. The grass this spring morning was covered with dew. D-E-W, dew. I helped my, my mama roll out the dough for the cookies. Dough, D-O-U-G-H, dough. Number 13, please do not waste the paper, W-A-S-T-E, waste the paper. Number 14, I got a new pair of shoes for school, P-A-I-R, pair. I got a new pair of shoes for school, P-A-I-R, pair. Okay, number 15, I saw the hair, I saw the hair jump through the grass, I saw the hair jump through the grass. Here, H A R E, here. Number 16, I knew the answer right away. K N E W, knew. I knew the answer right away. We, number 17, we read the fairy tale to bed. We read the fairy tale, T A L E, tale to bed. Okay, number 18, first, first dig a hole, then plant the seed. H O L E, hole. Be sure. To tie a knot in the lace. Be sure to tie a knot in the lace. Number 19. K-N-O-T knot. Okay. Number 20. We walked by the office to peek in. We walked by the office. We by, by the office to peep in. Can you hear the owl hooting? Can you hear? H-E-A-R hear. The owl hooting. Number 22, did you go to, 
Did you go to the store yet? T O two only T O two. Okay. Did you go to the store yet? All right. So you have to do this in in your book itself. No need to do this in your copies. Do it in the book itself. All right. You see, this is page number thirty one. Okay. Palindrome. We are going to study palindrome. All right. Unit three, language and literature. A palindrome is a word or series of words that reads the same forwards and backwards. For example, you see here S W -E S. If you read from the front also, it will be C's. Back also, it will be C's. So, a palindrome is a word or series of words that reads the same forwards and backwards. Okay, same word you will uh, get if you if you spell the word from the beginning also you are going to get uh, a word and from backwards also if you spell a word or pronounce a word you will get the same word that is palindrome okay use the clues to solve the palindromes babies need this to keep their clothes clean while eating it is bib b i b b okay you see from forward also it will be bib uh, bib and from backward also it will be bib all right another way of saying midday noon so from forward also noon from backwards also noon all right a small child is taught what is a small child a small child is a taught number 4 the past tense of do is did what is the past tense of do that is did a type of boat that is kayak k a y a k kayak so both the spellings will be same from forward as well as backward k That is K A Y A K K. Aka type of boat is kayak. You see, once again, I am telling, babies need this to keep their clothes clean while eating. Bib. Another way of saying midday noon. A great ch a small child. That is taught. Number four. The past tense of do is did. A large a type of boat. That is kayak. Okay. A magic word squared is like a crossword, but the answers are the same across and down. For example, bird. Okay, all right. Can you solve this magic words? Words squares. You see, the opposite of give is take. Always give then take. Okay, the opposite of give is take. Number two, this chemical can eat metal away acid. Okay, next one you see a male ruler that is king. Next phone number is you must be careful. of the sharp edge of a knife so once again i am saying can you solve this magic word squares the opposite of give is take this chemical can eat metal away acid three number it is a male ruler king number four you must be careful of the sharp edge of knife the spelling is e d g e h all right now you see here the opposite of uh, tame we have to write down what is the opposite of tame so the opposite of tame is wild w i l d wild number 2 a thought or a picture in your mind idea the opposite of right is left a type of fruit is date once again i am saying please follow the opposite of tame is wild a thought or a picture in your mind idea a thought a thought or a picture in your mind that is idea the opposite of right is left a type of fruit is date please uh, students please do all this exercises in your book itself okay so you see here this is page number this is uh, page number 32 okay page number 32 Uh, here we are going to study about groups these are collective nouns for groups of animals or things use your dictionary to find out what animals or things they are used with each of them okay so here the groups are given we have to find out the animals okay or the things whatever is related with that group we have to find out whether it is a it is an animal or a thing or something else all right okay so these are all collective nouns for group, uh, for groups of animals or things okay school will be fish you can see here i have already written school will be fish clump will be trees and bushes clump will be trees and bushes library will be books 
library will be books band will be musicians band will be musicians herd will be cows or cattle okay stack will be paper bricks or hay these things can be associated with stack okay so the answer is paper bricks and hay all right next one is bale so bale the group is given here bale so underneath you write down wool and hay w w o l wool w w o l wool and hay h a y hay all right next one please come to flock flock will be sheep or birds sheep or birds flock panel panel so it will be the group is given here panel we have to uh, find out uh, what animals or things are used with uh, with uh, panel okay so with panel judges or doctors are used with panel judges or doctors are used a panel of doctors a panel of judges all right next one come to class class will be pupils students pupils or students next one will be quiver quiver will be arrows next one will be crew crew will be sailors bunch next one is bunch bunch will be flowers bunch will be flowers or grapes okay next one will be shoal so it will be fish f i s h fish string let us come to string string will be beads pearls beads or pearls okay litter will be pups or kittens litter will be pups or kittens army army will be soldiers or ant okay armies will be army will be soldiers or ants tuft t u f t tuft will be grass tuft will be grass okay next one you come to pack pack will be cards wolves pack will be card cards or wolves okay bale will be wool or hay cards car uh, pack of cards we say no with pack we are going to use cards a pack of cards and wolves cards or wolves okay here you see last one is fleet ships uh, it will be fleet will be ships or cars all right so you can easily i'm i will send you the image also you can easily correct your answers if there is something wrong all right complete this crossword puzzle with collective nouns all right you see here i have already filled up this grid okay so you can see and write down here a group of fish what is a group of fish called a group of uh, ships what is a group of ships called we'll find out here here you see this is page number 32 okay we are doing b number complete this crossword puzzle with the collective nouns okay so you see here this is a cross and down also we will do and across also we are doing first of all we are going to do across a group of ships will be fleet okay f l w e t fleet you can see a group of fish will be number 2 a group of fish will be school a length of thread will be a length of thread will be here we will uh, see this one a length of thread will be skin okay s k e i n the spelling will be the pronunciation you can uh, say it as skin but it will the spelling will be s k e i n skin okay a group of lions you see here we have to find out where a group of lions are there number 7 it is all right so a group of lions you see here pride okay 
a group of lions is pride a group of soldier soldiers a group of soldiers number 9 company okay a group of birds number 10 kove c o v e y kove okay a group of birds kove all right number 11 is a group of sailors it is crew c r e w crew number 13 is a group of bees so number 13 is swarm s w a r m swarm number 14 a group of grapes it will be bunch b u n c h bunch a group of grapes will be bunch okay now let us come to down okay this is a group of uh, ship number 1 this is a group of ship down it is flock f l o c k flock okay next number you see a stack of paper two number is a stack of paper so already i have written here s t a c k stack of paper two number number 3 you see a group of puppies that is litter l i w t e r litter okay a group of uh, geese a group of geese will be number 4 it will be a group of uh, geese let us find out where is number 4 it is gaggle g a g g l e gaggle a group of geese is gaggle okay a collection of books it is library l i b r a r y library a collection of books is library a group of oxen a group of oxen is drove d r o v e drove okay a group of oxen is known as drove d r o v e drove a group of students so a group of students is class c l a w s class number 11 a group of witches what are they known as coven c o v e n coven okay c o v e n coven that is a group of witches and number 12 a dash of a already it is written here a bale of hay it will be b a l e bale a bale of hay okay let us come to page number 33 this is unit 3 language and literature okay anagrams so this is uh, the last page of our unit 3 okay in our next class we are going to start unit 4 all right so an anagram is a word formed by rearranging the letters in another word all right we have to rearrange the words in another word okay we have to rearrange the letters in another word an anagram is a word for an anagram is a word formed by rearranging the letters in another word we have to rearrange all right so we are doing page number 33 anagrams an anagram is a word formed by rearranging the letters in another word for example eight becomes t or eat see from one word we can, we are forming here two words eight is becoming t or eat okay let us come to exercise a use this words to find an anagram to match the meaning okay here the word is given north the meaning is a sharp pointed prickle on the stem of a plant so we have to write down this uh, the word which means this sharp pointed prickle on the stem of a plant that is thorn okay t h o r n thorn R uh, second word is rats so the meaning is heavenly body seen at night now we have to write down the word which means heavenly body seen at night that is star okay w s p wasp so we have to write the word which means the feet of an animal with claws or nails that is paws p a w s paws all right next one is meat m a t e meat four number is meat here we'll write the word lame l a m e lame all right oh that is tame t a m e tame it will be tame okay please uh, note down okay it will be tame used to being handled by humans it will be m a t e that is meat we have uh, we are going to write tame t a m e tame okay used to being handled by humans hint h i n t hint will be thin t h i n thin slim or lean hint will be thin slim or lean okay 
let us come to b number match this words to their anagrams i have already written here you can see reefs spear s p e a r spear tools s t e o l s tool read d e a r deer worth t h r o w throw snail n a i l s nails pore r o p e rope s c r e acre it will be race okay Uh, let me repeat reaps will be spear tools will be stool reed will be deer worth will be throw snail will be nails spoor will be rope acre will be race last one let us come to see the answers to this cross patch are anagrams of the clues all right so we have to just find here okay see across and down it is already given here so you can see and you can just write down bear four number is bear you see bear so the word we can form is bear b e a r bear okay this is across let us let us do across first five number five number across is t a n t a n that will be a n t ant number seven is l a m b lamb Okay, number seven is the lamb. Lamb. So that will be bomb. B a l m bomb. Okay, number nine will be p a w s pause. We can make w a s p wasp. P a w s pause. It will be number nine. P a w s pause will be wasp. W a s p wasp. Twelve number. You please follow. It is. C A U S E cause it will be sauce. S A U C is sauce. Thirty number is swing. S W I N G swing. So we can form a new word. W I N G S swings. All right. Now let us see down. One number is nails. N A I L S nails. So we can make it snail. S N A I L snail. Number two you see vines. V I N E S vines. we can make it veins v e i n s veins all right number 3 is brag b r a g brag so we can make it grab g r a b grab number 6 is one w o n own so it will be number 6 will be now n o w now the six number please follow w o n one so it will be now n o w now eight number you see Eight number is T E A M team. We can make one more uh, a new word that will be meat M E A T meat. Number ten is nap N A P nap. We can make it P A N pan. And number eleven will be cars C A R S cars. We can make it S C A R S car S C A R S car. So we have completed page number thirty three also. So today we have done from. Page number twenty eight to thirty three. We have done unit three. We have completed. All right. In our next class, we are going to start unit four. Please go through all these uh, things that we studied in unit three. Okay, language and literature. All these things are under the group. Under this group, that is language and literature. Okay. We started from antonyms, synonyms, homophones, palindrome. groups and anagrams this things uh, six things we studied today okay please go through and write down in your books thank you